The best things come in pairs. Sonic and Tails sat atop the shirt racing, their legs dangling from the roof in the wind as they savored the two donuts that Tom had bought them while he was on break. They both decided to accompany Tom to work that day, though they didn't actually do much. It consisted of Sonic speeding in front of the speedometer, trying to beat his personal record. Sonic spared a glance down at the townspeople as they walked by, his eyebrows furrowing as he lost himself in thought. Something Tails had said had been eating at him since he spoke the words in Siberia, and it hasn't been something that he'd brought back up again, almost like a one and done. He cringed as he remembered how vulnerable Tails had been that night, relaying how the people on his planet didn't like him, how they thought he was weird just for having two tails. Hey, Tails. Sonic finally found his voice after a few minutes of letting his thoughts swirl around in his head. Tails twirled his head to the side, focusing his gaze on his friend. Yeah, Sonic! You said. He suddenly wondered if he should even be bringing it back up, afraid of bashing the boy's spirit, but he cleared his throat and pursued through the doubt. You said that people on your planet didn't like you. They thought you were weird. Tails hummed quietly, nodding his head in confirmation as he processed the words. Yeah. He shifted his gaze to the concrete below them. I thought that having two tails was weird. I was a freak. The fox huffed a small laugh, but it held no humor in it. I didn't have any friends, and Tails was what they called me to bully me. Sonic frowned as he listened to his brother talk about his planet, his life. He chewed the inside of his lip, every piece of new information only frustrating him more. No one deserves that. No one deserves to be cast aside and treated differently because there's something you knew about them. And Sonic will never understand how anyone could look at Tails and decide that he was anything but amazing. He easily slid an arm around Tails' shoulder, pulling him closer, letting him lean into his side. He let the silence wash over them in calming waves, resting his head against the fox as they both watched the people of Green Hills continue with their own business, their own worries. I'm glad you're here, Tails. Sonic didn't hesitate to remind the boy. You're amazing. No matter what anyone else says, Maddie says that good things always come in pairs, that two is a lucky number. You have something that makes you special. You have two tails, and just like Maddie, I think the best things come in pairs. That means I think you're the best. You're a good thing. All of a sudden, Tails' arms were tightly wrapping around Sonic's shoulders, and Sonic's arms were unhesitantly wrapped around Tails' back this time. The first time they'd done this, he'd gotten a little bashful, pushing Tails away gently. But this time he held him close, securely. Thank you, Sonic! He heard Tails whisper. You are my hero, Sonic! Sonic would trade everything ten times over to make sure Tails was happy, that he was safe and protected. He'd be the one to protect him, too. Siberia had awakened a whole new fear in Sonic's heart, one that was placed by his fear of losing Tom and Maddie. Losing Tails, his brother, Honor. He'd been terrified before they'd even made it through the portal to Hawaii, even more terrified when they'd been locked in caves, and that fear didn't dissipate until he'd seen Tails flying in a plane over his and Knuckles' heads, coming to his rescue instead of the other way around. I'll always be your hero. Uh, 